welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about trail running tips. Trail running comes with a huge variety of terrain and technicality. It's anything that's off-road, from smooth level passes to winding rocky climbs. Of course, it can come with a few risks, but also some huge benefits for your overall running and mental well-being. So whether you're thinking about adding some trails into your running training, or you've recently started out, I've got some top tips for running off-road. Now hopefully you'll enjoy this video and get inspired to get outdoors and get off-road with your running. If you do, please give this video a like and if not already, try subscribing for more videos from me, a non-professional trail and ultra running dad of 40. That's right. Let's dive right in. If you've already done a bit of trail running, or you're thinking about incorporating some into your training, it is worth investing in a pair of off-road specific or trail shoes. And they'll pay you back in no time, making the experience so much more enjoyable. They will protect your feet from the trails, and allow you to basically be able to run on them. So they usually come with a thicker sole because that's going to give you the protection against any lumps, rocks or bumps on the trail. This though has the downside of being a slightly stiffer shoe on the whole, so you need to think about what sort of running it is you're going to be doing, and what sort of trails you'll be running on. Look at the brands out there. Obviously these shoes vary from brand to band, and many people will say running is running, which to a certain extent is true, but being able to adapt your running style to certain terrains will give you the best opportunity of being able to enjoy the trails and the obstacles that come with it. Whether that's steep climbs and descents, or it's tackling technical sections of trail. So what does good trail running actually look like and how do you improve that? Well running on technical trails is a skill and like any skill it requires some time for it to be developed. So just because you're maybe a really strong runner on the road, that's not going to directly translate to being a fast trail runner. So don't worry about pace and slow things down. Just tackle what's in front of you. There's no point in running along staring at your watch because firstly, you're not going to see any obstacles, lumps, roots, bumps, and you could risk taking a tumble. But also the pace doesn't really matter. There might be sections that you can sprint along, but equally there's going to be sections where you're going to have to go very slowly over rocks or steps or maybe even cross stiles or through gates, so pace becomes irrelevant. It's better to slow down and let yourself develop those skills slowly. I've mentioned this before, if you're new to trail running, don't suddenly change all of your runs to being off-road, because it can lead to injury as your muscles aren't yet adapted to the demands of the trails. Incorporating one or two trail runs a week will still see a quick improvement in your trail running ability. So when you are out on the trails, there are certain points that you want to think about and these will help you to soon become a proficient trail runner. Taking short, quick steps will prevent overstriding and also encourage the correct foot landing, which it does with any type of running, but it's also going to make you more stable when it comes to trail running. It keeps your centre of gravity underneath your body, but also allows you to adapt to any changes that might be happening, or if the ground is slippery, you're more likely to be able to get your balance. Running on trails is more tiring than running on road, so just make sure, whenever you are going on a trail run, you've had a little bit more rest than usual, so that your body is nice and fresh, as you're going to need to concentrate, and your legs are going to pick up and adapt to whatever is underfoot. Use your arms, and I don't just mean forwards and backwards like you would on the road when you're propelling yourself forward, but actually use your arms, shoulders, and whole torso for helping you to balance, so your feet are doing the technical work underneath, but your hands are there to counteract any unbalance. So if you do normally carry something in your hands, like your phone, I suggest putting that in some kind of belt and making sure you've got your hands free. The key to running smoothly over technical trails is being able to interpret hundreds of little things every second, so it does involve quite a lot of concentration. But to make it smoother, you actually need to be looking 5 or 10 strides ahead instead of looking directly at your feet, as this is going to be very static and hard to actually adapt to what's coming. Therefore, I'd probably suggest it's a good idea to leave the headphones at home, as you need full concentration, especially when you're starting out. Steep climbs can often put the fear into even the most experienced trail runners, but they shouldn't really. It's about just adapting your style of running to them. 
You want to lean into the hill when you're running up, and some people find that looking at your knees or feet will actually help with this position, so you want to try and mimic the gradient you're running. The steeper it is, the more you lean into it, and don't be afraid to break into a walk or a power hike, so you can put your hands on your knees or your hips and just get through that really tough bit until it levels out and you can start running again. You'll often find that you're not actually going any slower by walking than you would be trying to battle on up and run up a really steep hill. Anyone who's experienced it, going down steep climbs can actually be harder on the legs than going up. This is because you're constantly trying to break using your quads. When it comes to technique, you can break it into two parts. So if you've got a fairly gradual, non-technical, nice open downhill to run, then you can try and let yourself go a little bit. So you're lengthening your stride, you're covering more ground with every stride and you're naturally going to have a little bit more heel strike. But you still want to try and lean your body slightly towards the hill or downhill like you would in normal running. And this can feel quite fun. But when it comes to something that's steeper or more technical, you're going to need to shorten that stride and pick up your knees in front of you to stop yourself from gaining too much momentum or going too fast because that's when you can trip or lose control. This is where your arms can come in quite handy to try and balance you and just keep your body a little bit more upright. Having said all of that, don't get bogged down with too much advice. Just try and enjoy the hills, the descents, and that's the quickest way to improve and get the full benefit of trail running. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you some insight into what off-road running's like. Hopefully you're inspired to get out there on the trails and give it a go. Please give this video a thumbs up, it really does help me out. And if you're not already subscribed, click on that button and join my journey. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.